Welcome back to IQ Fit Life. I'm your host, Kevin. This is Kyle. And today we're going to talk about small movement kinetic chain and how that is important in all fighting everywhere and in all of movement. Uh, it's, in my opinion, most of key is small movement kinetic chains that, that, that's hard to see. Uh, but a small chain reactive movement throughout the body from top to bottom. So today we're going to look at an example of that and how to move it a little bit. An example of small movement kinetic chain, what that is, uh, is let's say to punch, okay? Um, to punch, I'm going to stand with one foot in front of the other and I'm ready to punch. So I'm going to push down with this foot, which extends. I'm going to dig in with this foot, which is going to come up and turn my hip a little bit, which is going to come out in my punch. Or I'm going to push with this foot, plant back on that foot, turn my hip, and punch with this side. So it's a small movement that actually starts at the ground. It doesn't start with my hand. It's more about my body moving than my hand moving. So when my body moves, my hand just comes out. Um, to show you that on a bag, so my hand is already here, my arm is extended, and I'm going to just move, right? And it moves the bag. So my hand is already here, I'm not extending my arm, and boom. So that is a small kinetic chain movement. So Kyle is gonna come over here and he's gonna cross his arms, and he's just gonna kind of stand here. And I'm just going to put my hands on him, so I'm not pushing into his body, but I'm moving his body, right? And I'm standing and I'm gonna drive up, I'm gonna draw up from my foot through my body, out my arms. And watch the impact that this has without me really extending my arms, just with my breath and everything moving together. Is just a <laughs> And it moves him that much, just by that little flinch with everything moving together. So you incorporate that into how you kick. So everything, so like when I kick, this is pushing off the ground, boom, and moving all of that momentum into him. When I punch, it's moving all of that momentum into the person. So my hand can move fast, but if my body is not moving my hand, then it doesn't have the impact. So. Like, Kyle's gonna wear a helmet, because I'm gonna hit him in the head. So, when I'm punching him, uh, the small kinetic chain movement just in my body, without me taking a step or moving my whole body in position, I'm just going to hit him. So if I'm not using that kinetic chain and I'm just using my hand, it looks like it doesn't really do much. But when I pull from my foot, it moves him. For me, striking can create damage in the other person, but since I do a lot of Aikido, um, I'm more interested in unbalancing the person. Um, so my strikes tend to move their joints, their major balance movements. So punching him in the head like I just did definitely took him off balance, but if I'm coming in from the side, uh, let's say we're here and I'm going to use the same type of kinetic chain, but I'm going to come in like a Yoko Minucci, right? So I'm coming in from the side and I'm drawing and I'm extending and I'm driving him toward where he doesn't have a foot. So without even taking a whole big step, just this kinetic chain, if I just use my arm, it doesn't really do much. I mean, it hits him, but when I use my whole body, it moves his whole body. Good gracious. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in to Ike Fit Life. Please subscribe. And uh, I hope these videos help you. Uh, like any martial art at all, everything takes a lot of practice. Uh, you can't learn anything and do it once or twice and be proficient at it. Everything takes training and practice. And remember, when you train, train with the idea that it's realistic. Like, 
Punch fast, punch hard, kick hard, kick fast, be kind to your training partner, don't kick harder or faster than they can handle, uh, lest you break their legs and kill them. <laughs> um, but with a punching bag, you can punch or kick as hard and as fast as you can, and you should. <laughs> um, but with a, with a training partner, you know, be kind, because it'll be their turn eventually. <laughs> Uh, but train realistically. Train so that you try to hit them, so that when your punch comes, you try to pull it back. You punch and recoil, you punch and recoil. You don't overextend too far. You know, I'm gonna move with my whole body uh, quickly. Um, but, but everything takes practice. So be safe when you train. Anything like that? I think you covered it. Have a nice day.